Okay, it's becoming a fine line between exposing what the enemy does and is doing right here in our present day and spreading the gospel message, dropping seed of the gospel message whereby one can be saved. These are two totally different topics. Now, if you're in the business of exposing evil and then subsequently lead up into how one may be born again and then hammer that, hammer the message, the charisma to the heart and mind of the, of the hearer and the, the listener, then you're doing, you're truly doing the work of the Lord. You're, you're truly the great commission. You're fulfilling that commandment. I'm saying this because it seems to be a, a just a wealth, a sea of information regarding um, what the devil is doing. You know, the evil that's taking place in our world. Is it is, it, is the rapture upon us? Uh, you know, the mark of the beast. Now, now granted, I, I firmly believe in exposing and manifesting evil. Okay, how can you even be in this spiritual battle, this spiritual warfare, if you don't even know what your enemy's tactics are. 100% believe in that. Okay? But exposing evil is not the gospel that men believe in by faith that will cause them to be born again. You know, this one guy, you know, on the, this other particular channel, he gets angry at me, and the whole time he gets angry at me. Now, let me just throw this out. You guys probably don't know this, but if you Google happy white men, just Google happy white men. You get some, and then go to images. Then Google happy black women. Uh, then Google um, happy Asian women. Happy Hispanic women. But guys, if you Google happy white women and hit images, you immediately get white women with black men. If you Google happy pregnant white women and hit images, all these images are women pregnant by a black man. Well, I commented on this particular truther who who put this clip out and I commented to them that, you know, it's, it's no different than, you know, any heresy or any you know twisting of culture and tradition you know even back to, you know you get the, with the, everything from homosexuality and if you're gay you know I don't hate you for it I just know that it's nasty uh, uh, don't want to go there all right, I don't want to go there. I actually will go there. I'm not afraid to go there. I don't care who writes back or whatever about me going there. I mean, God bless you, but yeah, wrong is wrong and right is right. If I'm wrong about something, I'm 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 gonna be a man about it and be like, look, this is I'm caught up in it, but hey, you know, I, I do know that it's wrong. So they use that. Um, you know, the, the racist thing, you know, anybody gets mad about something like that, what you're actually protecting, what you think you're safeguarding is your particular ethnicity. These people felt like they're, you know, they were coming, it's going to be mass genocide against uh, the white race. You know, this is, this is an agenda to destroy uh, the, look. Um, unbeknownst to, to many, uh, I guess not now, uh, I've 
I, in my promiscuous years, long ago, I've slept with a lot of uh, women who were not African American, okay? And the whole time that was happening in my life, and in other black men's lives, uh, white people never lost their power or their superiority. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, does it really, what does matter? Does that matter? Look, if I don't even know how to really. The gospel message is the message. Now, when I say the gospel message, I'm talking about the birth, the life, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. That narrative is what will give one the knowledge to escape the evil one. Alright? <laughs> Jesus the Lord, the King of Kings, believe upon him. You've heard it before. I know. I know Joel Osteen, he, he talks a little bit about it and, you know, a lot of these other men on TV, on your TV, talk about it let me ask you something if believing upon Christ is truly the wrong way to go which right now they're not even really saying that's the wrong way they're just trying to they're trying to include they're trying, they want the one world religion if you don't know what's happening behind the curtain you know, don't look at the man behind the curtain. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> the man behind the curtain is trying to orchestrate uh, to a culmination uh, of this world being one. Yeah, no independent thought, no critical thought. No, no self autonomy whatsoever in regards to who you are, where you're from, what your purpose is. Your government, because they they want to govern your mentality, government. God bless you. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.